Todd is native your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. We're on location at Rec Bar A12 today, reviewing Barbed Wire by Gottlieb. Please look for our review underneath the description of our YouTube video. There all our metrics will be. Let's go ahead and get this review underway. First things first, uh, traditional setup. Flipper gap is not too bad. Uh, we'll say that it balls out to the right quite a bit from that scoop from the plunger. And so this is obviously uh, the power just needs to be increased on it to shoot it to the left flipper. And again, we're on location, so that's how it works. Uh, traditional setup, in lane left right, out lane left right, most to the middle. So of course you got your 100 million, 10 million, 5 million, etc. Three flipper setup, targets to the right. So we'll go into video mode here. There we go. We got a capture ball to the top left, uh, scoop kick out, which is underneath the habit trail. The lane goes around to the pop bumpers to the middle. Ramp left to boot it goes your left habit trail, left in lane. Boot it goes into begin round, mega bonus. Uh, so lock slash scoop. Ramp to the right goes to your right habit trail, right in lane. And then targets coming down the right side. And that's pretty much it of this game. Artwork is what you would expect from a, a game this age. Uh, who would have thought Barbara Bar had a pinball machine? I do now. And, you know, I'm not quite sure if that scoop is, is made from the plunger to shoot out uh, at that angle right down the middle. And maybe that's why the stop peg is there. But if someone knows if that is the way it's supposed to be, let me know on the video. If not, obviously, I would assume that that power needs to be increased uh, for that kick out in order for it to go to the left flipper. Star work is what you would expect from the time period. Translight is exactly the same way. Callouts are okay, not great. Uh, flow is actually broken up. You have a lot of stop pegs to the center, uh, but you can get the flow going if you're hitting the ramps. It is a three flipper setup. Theme is okay for what it was at the time. Replayability is, is average. Fun factor, I would say that it's not a bad play. Not a bad play at all, pinning that, that plunger uh, shootout, which is about to shoot out again. So it's not a bad play. If that gets fixed and shoots the left flipper, it would be a little bit more fun. So replayability, I'm gonna score it a little bit lower. Some ramp action going on here. At this moment, uh, with the gameplay that I've already had, we're going to score this an 8.4 out of 10. Uh, not a bad game, average to say the least, a little bit below average, but beyond that, please look for our metrics of why we scored this game that way uh, underneath the description of our YouTube video. And until next time, this is your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy, Nathan, signing off. Thank you for watching today.